Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is an exciting day because I'm going to be installing a part that I've been waiting for for several months now. I knew it was going to take a while when I ordered it. It's for my GR Corolla behind me that I have up on the lift. And it is the very front skid plate, lower skid plate, that will replace the factory plastic piece. And this is made by Artwork Body Shop. They are out of Canada. And this will not only protect underneath the front of the car, but it'll also give support to the whole bumper grill assembly so that it's not dragging down and causing the separation and breaking the clips. So this is the final phase of my uh, makeover, I guess you could say, for the grill weakness and the clips and stuff. Um, I will link the other video that I did previous to this to strengthen the connection and the bond between the bumper and the grill. <coughs> this will support it from underneath, and this actually attaches to the frame in the car, so it will also help the bumper gaps on each side that some people are having. So, with that being said, let's get started and get this sucker put on. In the box, in addition to the shield that I already showed you, the anti-skid or the skid plate, um, there are two brackets. This is what attaches to the car. Uh, it comes with a sheet for instructions and it comes with a packet full of hardware. So the first thing that we have to do in doing this is take off the OEM plastic shield here. So it's just this front one. It is not this kind of felt feeling covered um, one that's underneath the engine, just the front one. So Racer X does make one in this position too. Uh, if you would like that one instead, or if you want to combine them, um, I have already checked and verified with Jeff that this will work. Um, his cover with this one shouldn't be a problem. So uh, down the road, I would like to go ahead and upgrade this one also. But for now, we're going to do this. There's a whole bunch of 10, 10 millimeter bolts here. We're going to take all of those out. I think, I think there's like 10 of them or something. So you can see the ones right in here too. So we'll take all those out and get this removed and then we'll get the brackets installed. You will need a 10 millimeter. I have my favorite tool here once again. Let's start getting these off. If you notice these indents here, there are spacers since the new one doesn't have these cutouts. It's flat right here. So there are spacers to take up that gap in the nut and bolt bag. Alrighty. That is 10. So, let's see if I didn't miss any. Oh, that's right. There's one clip right there. I forgot about that clip. and it just wants to come right off. There we go. There we go, guys. So the factory one is out. For the brackets, there are two holes. See them right there? See that? Two holes right there. So that's where this goes up it goes on the inside of it just like that and there will be two bolts that go through those holes and attach this so it'll kind of sit like that so let me find the right bolts and we'll get that tightened up 
Alrighty, the brackets are in, as you can see. So, there's the bolts coming through. I'm not gonna lie though, these were a pain in the butt because there's just not very much room to work right up in here. And so, it took a little bit of finagling and uh, but it took me a little while. My, I wish my hands were smaller, but I did finally manage to get them in there and get them started and threaded and slowly with my fingers got them tightened down. So, so those are done. One thing I want to point out though, is that this, the OEM one, let me show you here, is slightly different. It's designed to fit and it lines up with all the holes on the back side there. But the OEM one, as you can see, goes more forward. So, because they designed it to go with their front spoiler. So, their front lip. Um, so, I'm going to get this on. I'm going to see how it does. So, it does not use the factory bolts here. So, what I did is... Get some more light to show you here. So, I popped out the little white tabs where the screws go, the bolts go through to hold. I popped them out of these holes right here and I put them back in in the front just to keep those things, those parts together so, and keep my current lip there. So I'm going to go ahead and start bolting this up since it goes into different places. And I'm going to see how that all lines up. Now the back side lines up with the factory holes there too. And then of course it bolts onto the braces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the four bolts that go to the brackets. These are bolts that they supplied. So I'm just going to get these started. These are 13 millimeter. Yeah. The worst part of this job is the getting these brackets in. So they provide these 45 millimeter bolts. These are, and they're actually an Allen, but they are designed to go up through these. Just need to be able to see better. So I've got all the spacers located now. So now I can go ahead and slip the bolt through it. And then I can start the bolt. But I dropped my Allen, of course. <laughs> now I think that's gonna fall out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Notice how that always happens when you're working on something. Get a couple of threads around that one. There we go. Okay. I keep hitting this camera. When I'm underneath the car, there's just no good place for it. So, there's the four started. And then I got the two for each bracket. There's also something that goes here. So on these rear holes right here, there is a fitting there already. And these are designed for two other spacers. And then 
these tighten into that plastic fitting that's already there. So I'll do those on both sides. I have a whole bunch of other screws and all these that go on the front right here, those are all to attach directly into the spoiler. guys I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up I'm not gonna record tightening the bolts because my ratchet makes a lot of noise so I'll just go ahead and do that real quick alrighty I have it mounted now here's all the the four small ones that go into the OEM positions here these all have a spacer. You can kind of see the spacer up in there, right there. And then there's a spacer and these also, just to account for the, the way the plastic is molded. So those are all in there. Here's where the two, the two bolts that go into the bracket are. So, and on the other side and on the front. So this is designed to go with their spoiler. Um, their front lip spoiler, which I don't have. So I have this one from Extreme Online Store. And I, if I ever change it, it'll line up perfectly. But this one didn't line up perfectly. And I wanted some, I wanted some tension on the, on the underside of this. So what I did is I went down to the hardware store and I just bought some of these brackets. And they were just simple L brackets. And I ended up um, bending them so they fit my need. This is what I started with right there. That's what I bought. And then this is how I bent it. So I made a little, I used the, the L that it still had and then I bent this piece. You can see how I kind of bent it in a couple sections and curved it up so so that it it goes here and then it goes up and then it comes up underneath the lip and puts tension on it. So there's actually tension on that, pushing that up versus letting it push down and put more pressure on the underside of it there so this is how so this works so this bolts in like that and you can kind of see how it curves up under under that so yeah i just wanted you guys to to see kind of what i did as a temporary thing i might try to actually get a piece of metal that goes along this whole route that is stair-stepped like this and bent from a shop. And, uh, but in the meantime, this will work really well. Um, or if I ever decide to order their front lip that will line right up with this. So anyway, everything is, I just need to put this last bracket on and then snug everything down and make sure everything is Good to go, and we are done with this. And it's so much more stout than the plastic one. So I am, I am happy with the final results. Any questions or comments or anything, guys, please holler. Hope this helps out. Anybody that might be interested in this. And uh, sure would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.